Look, you know how I get when I'm on my game. No blood, no sweat, no gain. I don't really want to hear about nothing. The Titans Caravan has been going on for over 20 years. The 2019 Caravan, Rashawn Evans set a record. You appeared on Titans Caravan more than any man who has ever been part of a caravan. Why did you try to go? You tried to go on every stop. You couldn't do it because of a, a, a death in the family. Why did you decide to do that? Well, I'm be honest with you. My my first initial mindset when I first started the Titans Caravan was, you know, they, they called me. It was like, look, we want you to do the Titans Caravan. And I did it for the first time, and I, you know, I, f- I kind of fell in love with it after the first little trial run. And you know, after that, I was kind of like thinking to myself, I, I might as well just do every single one of them just to really get to know some of these fans. So I was like, sure, I'm not doing anything anyway at home. I'm, I mean, I'm bored anyway. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to just commit myself to try to do it every single one of these Titans Caravan. My arm was got close, but like you said, I was able, I was cut kind of short, you know, because of the death of my family, but, you know, I enjoyed every bit of it. Now, some guys over the years, we've had to uh, cajole to get them to go. Mm. So to hear this is totally opposite of what we normally get. What do you like so much about being out among the people that mm, way? I feel like I feed off of other people's energy. I like being around other people, people that are excited about you know, the team, I feed off of that stuff. And, you know, it, it gets me more excited when I have, you know, people that I've never met before tell me about their stories, tell me about some of the things that, you know, I feel like I can learn personally in life. And I was able to do that both, you know, from adult to all the way down to little kids. So, I mean, just experience like that, you know, I feel like I have the mindset of just n- no day is promised. And, you know, any day that you try to seize with, you know, just learning more about other people than about yourself, I feel like you gain from that. Have you always been a people person? I was, I would definitely say, um, even my mom tells me that all the time. She would say, you know, she always says they get out more. And she doesn't want you to be a homebody. Exactly, she don't want me to be a homebody. And, you know, I feel like <laughs> with that Titans Caravan, that was the first time I was like, I'm gonna take advantage of that just to show her that, you know, I'm, I'm actually doing something and, you know, I'm, I'm not just like a, like you were just saying, uh, homebody. Well, your first round pick, you yeah. played you're the national <laughs> champion from Alabama and yeah. all this. Everybody knows who you are. Are you surprised by that? I don't really look into it like that. I, I see it as just, you know, I'm a regular person. And just with the Titans Caravan, I was approaching it just like that. I was just trying to use that opportunity to really just, you know, really learn about people, really trying to just see a different aspect of life of, you know, how people, you know, think about certain things. and. You know, just to have the opportunity too, and an honor to be able to go out there and you know represent the Tennessee Titans like I did. I mean, it was a great experience for me. Speaking of relationships, earlier this year on Titans All Access, we did a feature with you and Jayon Brown going out to see season ticket members. Mm. How tight are you with Jayon Brown? Can you describe it? Yeah, um, it, it feels like it gets close. We get closer and closer each day. Like it's kind of funny because. You know, me and Jan, when we first, when I first met Jan, I remember him from, you know, past, you know, camps and other stuff and me visiting UCLA, which he, where he's, his alma mater is. Oh, you took an official there? Took it, took an official visit there. So, I mean, we kind of go back from during that time. And, you know, it's funny how we ended up being on the same team. And, you know, ever since we, we met up with each other, I remember the first day we met up with each other, we just kicked off ever since then. And me and Jayon have more of like a, a relationship where, you know, whenever we out there on that field, I feel like I, I already know preset before he even tells me what, 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 he, what he's trying to get across to me and what he wants to do. And, you know, the more and more you play with somebody, the more and more you hang out with somebody, I feel like all of that stuff is, it, it comes all in one. And I feel like you, you're starting to see that on the field. And there are a bunch of guys like that on this defense. No I doubt. Mean, Byard and mm-hmm. Landry, the guy you came in with. Yeah. H- how much of a family type bond are you guys already building among the young guys on this defense? Um, I would say it's really tight. It's, it's even getting closer and closer as the season goes along. Because I just feel like everybody individually just, you know, they want to play the best possible game we could possibly play in. You know, what that comes with is accountability from each and every individual, knowing that a mistake here, a mistake there, you, you let your, your brother down. So. With that type of mindset from each person, I feel like we just try to become close and close, and then with that type of mindset, it helps us play better each each person.